Before making the announcement today, Oceania Fights Promotion Managing Director Marianne Milley firstly thanked SOE Controller and the COVID-19 health experts for giving boxing the green light to begin its scheduled fights after meeting and complying with all required SOE COVID-19 bonus protocols. The SOE approval allowed OFP to reschedule a number of local fights starting at the end of this month, while dates for the much-anticipated Oceania fight initially scheduled for April will be announced before the end of the year. PNG Pro Boxing Chairman and Patron Ben Micah was very excited about the good news, saying boxing is back from its sleeping and unconscious state into the live sport as it is once again today, adding even COVID-19 will not put boxing down. Micah went on to assure PNG that the postponed Oceania fights will still happen before the end of the year. Just now fight them. WBC sanctioned uh, Asia title whereby uh, covering big play area of the world. Boxing countries like Russia, Japan, China, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, you missed up in Sadlong, that's a region. If Raka wins this fight, it'll be a few steps to challenge for the world lightweight title uh, belt uh, underneath the WBC. So M by one player, big player, uh, agenda belong. Uh, Oceania fight promotion of boxing. Micah also used the opportunity to challenge men folk about violence against women and young girls. So those of you men out there who think that it is a joke or you think it is a pleasure to belt your woman, me ask him to stop. Me like to call Sam, um, all this man now you look at me sit down and stop here. Now all karate man, all kung fu man, all uh, Puchichu or one more kind of martial arts sport here, kickboxing, where all the sport block fight. And me play all together now, he combined long joint force, one time on Narapala community and the government of Papua New Guinea to say no to violence against women and girls and children. Terry Longwood, TV One Sports.